<laughs> hi guys it is mom Marada. how you doing um phew, boy what a day what a week it's been quite a week um so you know i will share the good with you guys and i'm going to share the bad with you too so that you know that you go through your ups and downs and you make it through all these different challenges of life uh together and um just a few days ago we found out that bless my loving husband I, he, I, he lost like a lot a lot in the stock market and um a lot <laughs> and I, I was like okay babe i said well you know what all successful people have losses you know um, jim Rohn talks about the time that he was out a million dollars you know because of business deal went the wrong way and you know what's fantastic is that successful people keep on trucking and they make more money you know so i said we're gonna recover it's gonna be great i said this is just a chapter in the, you know it's not the end of our story it's just a chapter in our story through our journey of life and uh you know you learn you live and you learn so he was really happy that that's what i had to say about it and i didn't freak out you know um, but I told him, I said, I don't feel those kind of burdens the way that you do. You know, I just go through life like, oh, I'll be taken care of and everything's going to be all right. <laughs> um, cause I trust him and I know that things happen and it's the economy and the market has been horrible. We have, um, other family that has, you know, regular 401k, they've lost half their retirement and those are the low risk investments, you know? So anywho, um, and then you guys know that I've been waiting to test my hormones and all that jazz. And I went in today and the doc was like, okay, you have super high levels of estrogen. And I was like, okay. And she's like, that's a risk marker for cancer. And I was like, okay. I was like, I figured she was going to say perimenopause, menopause, whatever. And she's like, nope. And I asked her and she's like, nope, you, your blood work doesn't show that that's, that's the issue. And I'm like, seriously. I said, you know that I'm a couple years away from 50, right? So anyway, um, so she ordered a mammogram, which I feel like my breasts are fine. I don't have any issues, but I'll go do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then another pap, which I did two years ago. And it's, by the way, is not good for you to do those every year that, you know, or the mammograms every year. It's go every few years because they tend to have false positives. So anywho, Ugh, super annoyed, but she's like, well, no wonder you can't lose any weight, such high estrogen, your body just holds on to everything. And I'm like, you know, the emotions and all that stuff. So it, now it makes sense. You know, although I've been a pretty emotional person most of my life, but it's my numbers are out of whack. As far as that goes, everything else she said is normal, thyroid's normal, yada, yada. So, hi, Mia. <laughs> so, um, and having high estrogen uh, increases the risk of cancer for women. So, yeah. So my husband's like, so they didn't give you something to lower it? I'm like, well, not yet. Because they want to find out what's the deal. What, why are the numbers so high? So we'll see how it goes. But um, I'm just so grateful that, you know, I have such a loving, dedicated husband. That he's so kind. That he cares about me. That, um you know, he just, he wants me to be healthy. He wants me to be okay. And, uh, he gives me so much support. Um, God bless him. I am so happy. I, I am so, it's so funny because I was just telling him the other day, like every day I think about the fact that I'm so happy. I'm so grateful at how much this man loves me, how he takes care of me, how good he is to me. Um, and I love my family. My kids are great. You know, nobody's perfect, but they're really freaking good kids. I mean, Ay, ay, ay. They're, they're just amazing. And I'm a very blessed and lucky woman. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> definitely one thing is I'm going to have to stop stressing out about the world and everything that's going on and getting so upset about these idiots that are destroying everything. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just need to take care of myself. So <sighs> we'll see how it goes. And, um, Somebody asked me about, you know, dealing with your husband's frailties and what are my husband's frailties and things like that. And, you know, I, I it was like, uh, I'm not going to be specific because I'm not going to put my man out there like that. <laughs> but 
he's just a man. He's just a man. And actually, to be honest, I have already talked about these things. I have talked about, um, you know, whether it was friendships with women that I didn't realize because, you know, he's been working somewhere for 25 years. He has friendships with women, you know, and uh, just living in a little bubble for about 20 years and, and just, you know, kind of never thinking about any of that stuff. So, um, you know, I've, I've had my experiences, uh, I guess with my channels all being deleted a million times. I don't know how many of those videos are left, but I've talked about it before. Most of you guys that have seen my channels through the years, um, and just, he's so attractive and that's not his fault. Um, and just charming and just, he's just amazing. So it, there's always women looking at him and, you know, if he wanted to, he could have a, a whole lineup, but he's like, uh, you know, I choose not to. And I'm like, okay. I mean, it was to the point where I was just like, okay, do you want, do you want to, you know, bring somebody in? Do you want to do a threesome? Do you want a second wife? I mean, I was just going through because I was like, well, I'd rather deal with this head on because I was going crazy. So, um, is that a frailty, a human frailty, a fault? Not really. I mean, that's just the 20% that I don't like that I have to deal with. <laughs> Everything else is fantastic. Um, you know, so, do I like every answer that he has or putting his foot down sometimes that I don't like, you know, no, of course not. But I know that he does what's best for the family. He's leading, he's taking care. And again, it's been, um, over two decades married, technically 23 years in December, very soon actually. Uh, and since we we're 14, so I don't know, 33 years, maybe 34 Whew, it's a long, long time since we were kids, you know? So, um, yeah, uh, I trust him. He has more than earned my trust and, um, nobody's perfect. Um, you know, uh, on occasions he drinks too much, you know, and he might, um, act real silly and try to get my toes and drive me nuts. Cause I want to go to bed and, you know, but that's the, I, I said, thank God you're a happy drunk, <laughs> you know, um, he's just a really good guy. So I don't, you know, my, that's about the best that I can come up with since somebody wanted to know, uh, some of the things that I deal with. Um, and to be fair, again, I've got a long list myself of my own frailties that he's put up with for all these years. Um, Oh, here comes my baby girl. I'm going to go. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao. Wish me luck and say a prayer.